Hey guys, it's Colin here. Today we're going to look at using CSS Hero to style forms. In particular, we're going to look at Contact Form 7, which is a free plugin, and also Gravity Forms, which is actually a premium plugin. But either way, it's going to show you how easy it is to make forms look the way that you want them to look, as opposed to the way they come standard out of the box. So if I just go over to a Contact Form here, you'll see that um, I've set up a page. So this is the standard form that comes with Contact Contact Form 7 once you've installed the plugin. As you can see, it looks pretty boring. It's not too bad. Uh, it's It's got you know pretty square um, boxes here. And one thing that I really don't like about it is the submit button. Now, you can change the, the wording on the submit button as opposed to something else than send, but the styling of it would mean getting into you know CSS code and targeting specific Contact Form 7 plugin CSS style sheets. So I'm going to boot up and start up uh, CSS Hero here. Nice thing about it is that CSS Hero is already configured from the cloud to recognize the Contact Form 7 fields. So it makes it really, really easy to target them. So I'm going to click on the target item, OK, and off we go. So the first thing we can do is uh, we can choose the, the, the page title, which it's not part of the form. It's actually page, uh, part of the page, but we can we can customize it to what we want. So, for example, you know, uh, if we want to make that a little bit bigger, we can do that. So, I'm going to leave the color the same, but let's choose the font size. There we go. Make it a little bit bigger over there, like that. And you know what? Uh, we're going to oh, we're going to leave that the same. We won't we won't change the line height. I was going to put a bit of a shadow on it, but we'll just leave it nice and plain for now. So that was the uh, the, the actual title. Now, if we go into the the um, labels here, these are called labels over the boxes. So if we have a quick look at these, so I'm going to select this um, this top label here, okay, and I'm going to change that to something. Well, let's go let's go with uh, blue, shall we? Let's change the color. And as you can see, it's black as standard. I'm going to click on here and choose a blue down here. There we go. As you can see, it's uh, changed the color a little bit there. And I'm going to make it a little bit darker. I don't like that uh, bright blue. There we go. Now, the only problem with that blue is the the, the surrounding border boxes on the, on the text boxes here are obviously black. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to go to select the text box. OK, you notice that it's actually selecting two text boxes there. Uh, they're very similar. So it's an input box. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the background, first of all. Instead of it being white, I'm going to make it very, very light gray. You can see that. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's actually got a border on there, too. So you can see that it looks like it's it's uh, hollowed out. I don't like that effect. I want a very flat effect. So I'm going to use it. Uh, I'm going to make it very light there. The other thing I'm going to do is change the size, because one thing that intimidates people is a small text box. And if you make your text box a little bit larger, OK, it will encourage them, believe it or not, to fill it out. So we're going to go with the height here and I'm just going to make those about 40 pixels. Believe me, uh, this this does work. It, it doesn't feel so intimidating when there's a lot more space to to enter text in there. Let's go back and get rid of that border. So if we go to the border, and we'll just take take it out all together. You can see now it's gone. So we've just got a flat box. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add one pixel. And it looks like I'm gonna actually, you know what? We're gonna do this on a on an individual basis here. So we're gonna put uh, one pixel in here. Just backspace on that. Okay. Now you can see that we've got uh, actually no pixels around anything. So we're gonna top border is gonna be solid, and then we're gonna do the right side. As you can see, I'm just turning these selectors on. And there you go. We've got one more to go to the left, left side, and we'll put that one to solid. Now we've got a really nice kind of uh, one pixel border around there. I don't like the color, so I'm going to go back in here. CSS Hero is smart. It's, it's remembered the blue color we used. So as you can see, there we go. Uh, we're going to go back up. We're going to change the border radius. I'm just going to round over the edges a little bit. So I can do it on a, on a universal uh, scale by using this top one here. It will put it on all four corners. And I'm just going to put that to something like four, four or five pixels. Let's go with five. And it just rounds off the corner really, really nicely there. So that's um, that's those fields taken care of. Let's go down to the email field and do the same there. So 
First of all, I'm going to uh, change the background color. And if we will have that gray there already. How beautiful is that? Okay, then I'll go back up here and we're going to eliminate that border down to one. Okay, but then I'm also going to change the color of this border color and click on that blue. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to choose the style. You can see the top border is actually uh, one or two. Should I say I only want it to be one? And there we go. So that's the borders. I'm going to change the size of it just to match the other two fields. So we're going to go into size next. And I'm going to bring that up. I think I had that at 40 pixels. Aim for 40. And then I'm going to put that five pixel border radius on there just to make it match the other. So I'm going to use the top one. It puts it on all four corners. And there we go. So that's universal there. Now we're just going to do this last one down here. And we're going to do the same same thing again. We're going to change the background. And we're going to choose the nearly white there. Beautiful. Go back. We're going to change the border. And I'm going to change the color of that border to the blue that we've already got programmed. And now I'm going to go back and put a radius on that. Five pixels. There we go. That looks much better. Now, I'm going to go down to the famous, horrible looking submit button. And this is one of my favorite things that CSS does. CSS Hero does, should I say. I'm going to change, first of all, the size. I think that little button looks absolutely awful. So we're going to make it wider, even if it's just got send on it. We're going to make it a little bit more inviting and a little bit bigger over here. Okay. And that's probably a little bit too much, but we'll. Uh, that looks good. Okay. Um, Next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the background color. And because we want it to match everything else, we're going to choose that blue. Okay. Which means we've got to change the text color because obviously that, uh, that doesn't work on the blue there. So we're just going to text and we'll drag that up to the white up there. There, that looks much better. Now I'm going to work on those borders because I don't like the border uh, given that hollow look. So I'm going to cancel out the borders completely. And now I'm going to go back and do the border radius. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a round edge on there, as you can see. I'm going to go a little bit further on the button. But uh, that's the that's the non-hover state done. But I want people to realize that when they hover over it, that it actually does change. So I'm just going to go up to this icon here. And I'm going to choose the hover state. OK. I'm going to change the background. We're going to have something that's a little bit more what I tend to do with these is I choose my blue color here. Now, if we just take that down and either lighten it or darken it, and I'm going to darken it in this case, that usually just enough to them to know that they've clicked on that. So I'm going to click on save and that will have everything saved there. And if we hover over here, you'll see it just gets darker just so it kind of indicates that uh, it's being pushed over. Uh, one thing I don't like is the contact form 7 being that black up there now. So we'll just go back and target that quickly. And because CSS Hero is so smart, keeps our color in the palette, it's going to be so easy to change that to the blue. There we go. And I'm also going to change the font style to something a little bit more interesting. Let's go with... Um, Oh, let's just go with Geneva. There we go. A little bit better. Perfect. And we'll save that. And that is our new form. It's so easy. So if we actually save that now, and I'm going to go to our save options here, and we're going to put that to your account, and I'm going to call this contact form seven. Okay. Oops. Click OK. And that will go back to the cloud and will remember my settings for this particular theme. Now then, that's the contact form seven. I'm coming up to 10 minutes, so I'm gonna call it quits on that one and I will come back and do a gravity forms one next. So that's contact form seven. So I hope you had fun. It shows you how easy it is to change the styles of your forms. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video. Thanks, bye now.